child abuse prevention. Please select a character. Tap on the different body parts to learn their names. Eye Tongue Lips Nose Ear Ear Forehead Chin Cheek Cheek Eyebrow Forehead Ear Toe Foot Knee Leg Knee Palm Palm Stomach Chin Chin Hand Hand Palm Head Arm Arm Neck Ear Hair Back Tap on the different body parts to learn their name. Please select a character. Let's see how much you know about body parts. Put all the body parts at their correct places. Chest. Nice one. Stomach. Super. Mouth. No, that's mouth. Please try again. Tongue. Great. Lips. Awesome. Teeth. That's wrong. Chin. Genius. Finger. Great. Arm. No, that's wrong. Mouth. That's not the correct body part. Arm. Nice one! Cheek. You're so smart. Teeth. Smart. Hand. Awesome! Mouth. Great! Put all the body parts at their correct places. Finger. Genius. Neck. Neck. Smart. Hand. You're so smart. Shoulder. You're so smart. Arm. Incorrect. Arm. Incorrect. Back. Awesome. Bottom. Marvelous. Arm. That's wrong. Arm. Good job. Waist. No, no, that's elbow. Jean. Waist. Great. It's an amazing day. Hi, friends. Today, I'm going to talk to you about good touch and bad touch. But first, let me tell you about our body parts. We have eyes, ears, hands, body parts that can be seen. Other parts we have, we call them our private parts. No one can touch our private parts. That's the safe part to touch. Good touch. 
That's a safe touch. Bad touch. Bad touch. Bad touch. Good touch. Good touch. Good touch. That's the private part. You should not touch there. Safe touch. That's the safe part to touch. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm going to talk about important protective self rule. You have to know the difference between a good touch and a bad touch. Let's learn about the good touches. Playing and giving high fives to your friends. Receiving tightest hugs from your father. Doctor gives you a checkup in the presence of your parents. Oh. oh. Hmm. Getting hugs from your family members is a good touch. Hmm. Having pats from your grandfather. Mama giving a refreshing bath. So friends, these are all safe touches. The safe circle is this Papa. Papa will all oh, sister. You can tell her too. You can tell her grandfather. He is always supportive. Grandma mommy. Yes, you can share anything with your Children should be given adequate basic facilities like food, clothing, and shelter. Never speak abusive words to children. It affects child's mind. Never get drunk in front of children. It creates wrong impression in child's mind. Never treat children as servant. Never ask them to do any dangerous household work or give excess work like a servant. Never expose child to the domestic violence. If you are being forced to touch anyone, then immediately inform your parents. This is considered to be bad touch. Make sure child is away from the dangerous appliances like hot iron. If someone shows you inappropriate pictures or movies, you should inform your parents immediately. Never hit children brutally. If someone tries to take your inappropriate pictures or videos, inform your parents about it. Leave a child without supervision at home. They might get exposed to the dangerous items. Hmm? If someone tries to touch your private parts, inform your parents about it. You should never neglect your children. You should always give adequate amount of time to your children. Wow, sounds good. Children doesn't feel like going to school, 
then understand why your child wants to miss school. That can help you find better ways to respond and plan to improve the situation. Please select a character. If you feel unsafe or feel disgusted, then here are some early warning symptoms. You should never need to go to the toilet. Wobbly legs. Shaky all over. Feel sick in the tummy. Heart beats fast. Parents should speak to their children and make them understand that it's never their fault when someone breaks the touching rule to hurt you. Make them feel comfortable to share things with you. Never force your children to kiss anyone, even your relatives. It should be their personal choice. Try to spend quality time with your child every day. This can help ensure that you spend time with them. You should always motivate your child and praise their little efforts and improvements and achievements regardless of results in the report card. If your little one doesn't want to show affection to anyone by hugging them, never force them. She never has to touch or be touched if she feels uncomfortable to her family or otherwise. Child should feel that their parents' love is unconditional and their love isn't judgmental. They should appreciate their achievements. Make sure child should know that you love them irrespective of good results in their examinations. Child Abuse Prevention! <laughs>